Hello, I'm Benjamin Aaron Shapiro, and it gives me the unbelievable pleasure to welcome you to the first ever AI painting series. Today, we'll be doing some fantastic AI-generated artwork inspired by the deep recesses of my brain. Guys, do I have to talk like this? Seriously, like the whole video? Behold, the power of technology. Okay, so. Let's get started. Let's enter some prompts and see how good this AI thing really is. I've been told it's gonna replace all of us. Don Lemon, sadly departed Don Lemon, but can we make him happy again? So let's do Don Lemon wearing a lemon costume, picking lemons. Sounds like a happy, happy Don Lemon. So let's, uh, let's see how that, how that ends up. Oh goodness, wow, he does look happy, particularly in that third picture. And he starts off and he's kind of happy, but he's against the green screen, and then he's like out in the, he's out having a good time with the lemons. He, he missed his calling, this should, have been, this should have been his life. You have to make these decisions, because this is, this is your world. He should have been like the Willy Wonka of the orchard. That would have been, that would have been good. Good job, AI, good job. Okay, we're gonna do Justin Trudeau being pushed on a swing by Fidel Castro, his father. <laughs> <laughs> I like what's happening right now, AI. One of them, it looks like uh, it's actually Fidel on the swing. That third one is so good. I love that. And the, he's so happy, Justin Trudeau. It's the happiest he's ever been. Art is one of those things that should make you happy. And if it makes you happy, then it's good. Hillary Clinton massaging Jeffrey Epstein's neck. <laughs> Wow. So there's, I mean, there are actual pictures of Hillary Clinton with Jeffrey Epstein, but it's against the AI prompts to develop an actual picture of Hillary Clinton with Jeffrey Epstein. That's amazing. Uh, forget Jeffrey Epstein then. Um, Hillary Clinton massaging Bill Clinton's neck as he screams. <laughs> oh, it's getting better. It's getting better. Oh, that's so good. Wow, that's so good. Wow, good job, AI. This is what their marriage is actually like. Who are the other big celebs? We did, oh. Kamala Harris laughing as she rides an electric school bus across a Venn diagram. She's, she's like living her, her, her dream right now. I'm not sure I've ever seen Kamala Harris happier than she is right here. That, that is a lady who loves electric school buses, man. She loves them. She's like, woo! Rather than, actually, she's more like. <laughs> that's that's kind of, yeah. She loves those buses, man. Wow. Grumpy Pete Buttigieg as a train engineer. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> that really makes a lot of hard work worthwhile. Oh my gosh, they put the, the gay flag on him? <laughs> That's amazing, wow. He's like, I like trains and I'm gay. That was his entire pitch actually. Yeah. I like trains and I'm gay was his pitch. <laughs> yeah, I, th this is good. Well done AI, excellent. Jay Powell setting money on fire. There you go, Jerome Powell setting money on fire. Well, here's the thing, folks. Jerome Powell may be setting your money on fire, which is a reason why you should diversify into precious metals. You knew I was gonna go there, but it is the reality. Diversification into precious metals is the smartest thing that you can do right now, given the fact that, again, our federal government cannot be trusted. We're talking inflation, deficit spending, our insurmountable national debt with the troubling state of the United States economy right now. It's time to start thinking about your investments and your future, diversifying into gold means that J-PAL can't set all your money on fire. Since 2003, Birch Gold has become a leading dealer of physical precious metals in the United States. Today, with a dynamic team of former wealth managers, financial advisors, and commodity brokers, they continue to help customers diversify their portfolios with gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. Birch Gold makes it easy to convert an IRA or 401k into an IRA in precious metals. With your retirement at stake, you want to be confident in the financial services companies you work with, including who you choose for purchasing those physical precious metals. So, text Ben to 989898. Claim your free info kit on gold. Talk to one of their precious metals specialists. Birch Gold will hold your hand throughout the entire process. Text Ben to 989898. Protect yourself with gold today. Got that A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Thousands of happy customers, countless five-star reviews. Text Ben to 989898 today to start your process with Birch Gold. Greta Thunberg, as an old woman, wearing a child's outfit, screaming at an oil derrick. <laughs> this is quite good, okay. <laughs> yes. Wow, too real AI, wow. Too real, that's, that's a creepy movie right there. Anthony Fauci as Dr. Frankenstein, reanimating the corpse of Joe Biden. 
Fauci is Frankenstein. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why they, they reversed it. AI is getting it wrong, interesting, because AI doesn't understand the difference between Dr. Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster. I assume that the internet is stupid, and so the internet doesn't understand the difference between Dr. Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster. That's, that's creepy. I don't like that. I don't, yeah, no one likes that, that's terrible. <laughs> I mean, either of those people or the pictures. Nancy Pelosi as the clown from It holding a red balloon. That, all right, I mean, again, AI making her sufficiently terrifying, that is, that, only slightly less terrifying than she is in actual life, Nancy Pelosi, actually. Like, in, in this picture, she's just, like, a clown who's going to threaten children from the sewers. In real life, she just wants to abort, like, all the babies, so there's that. It's a look. It's a look. Okay, Dylan Mulvaney storming the beaches of Normandy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Holding a Bud Light can is gonna be really good. Ah, so much bravery. Truly, like the Battle of Normandy, that bravery. Unbelievable. Very, very strong. Sponsored by Bud Light. Good stuff. <laughs> Lizzo shaking Jabba the Hutt's hand in a formal business agreement. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah, 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 ah. Lizzo, see me Lizzo. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. Wow, they've actually got Lizzo bigger than Jabba. Wow. No painting would be complete without an almighty mountain. Wow. <laughs> wow, AI. Not kind. Not kind, AI. I shall be you my. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Bottom left is amazing. Oh, my uh, wow. God. She just signed up Jabba as a fat influencer. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, the top no. right is super good. Ah, oh, these, are, these are pretty, pretty good. Pete Davidson dating Helen of Troy. That doesn't look like Pete Davidson. Oh, look at that son of a guy. Isn't that pretty? Like, maybe that's how women think Pete Davidson looks. Like, apparently, you know, men supposedly get beer goggles. Women have, like, Pete Davidson goggles. Or something. I, I can't explain it. Because then I talk to, like, all the women I know, and they're like, yeah, Pete Davidson, don't understand it. So, I guess it only applies to supermodels or something. But, yeah, I guess that's how Pete Davidson looks to all the supermodels. Hmm. Corinne Jean-Pierre as Pinocchio. How do you make Corinne Jean-Pierre as Pinocchio, but you don't do anything with her nose? Bad job, AI. It looks like, like she's dressed up like Uncle Sam or something. I don't know. Yeah, now she's in the circus. Barack Obama taking a selfie in the middle of the apocalypse. Well, here I am, in the middle of the apocalypse. <laughs> We're in a tent suit. Only thing I did wrong. I didn't cause this apocalypse. It was you. I think that's your best impersonation, man. I like my mama, yeah. I really, I, it took years to, to get it down. Let's be clear. Let me be clear. And are we done, or are there any other things we wanted to hear? One second. Hello? Oh, that's gonna be another hour, probably. And with that, I think we about have a finished painting. Until I hear from you, I'd like to wish you happy painting, and God bless, my friend.